Hey guys, Ross here. Thanks for joining me for another daily shave. Today's shave is going to feature the newest release, which is also a holiday release from Noble Otter, and this is the night before. Now, before I get into the shave and inevitably forget, I do want to point out that this label is just absolutely fantastic. I think um, Noble Otter, I know that they do have a designer that they work with to come up with these labels. And I just am a huge fan of their labels in general. And really, you can tell with this one, they really went all out. Uh, the details on it, the ornaments, the lights, you know, the way that the otter's nose, when you hit the light just right, it really glows up red. I think it's a really, really cool touch. And even the tubs are red. So kudos to Noble Otter. They are really killing it in terms of the label game. And I'm a huge fan. All right. I've actually already got the soap preloaded here in my West Coast Shaving honeycomb brush. I'm going to wet my face and we'll get right into things. Now, one of the other cool things that No Water does with their soaps too is they actually put the notes right here on the side label, which normally I'm not a fan of seeing all the notes on top of a label, but in this case on the side and just kind of the way that they've implemented this as part of the label, I think it's a really cool touch. So the notes are pink peppercorn, balsam fir, mistletoe, rosemary, amber, sandalwood, vanilla, frankincense, and myrrh. So there's quite a bit going on with it. What I will say off the bat is that the scent strength is a little bit on the lighter side compared to most soaps that I am used to. I would say it's somewhere around a four, four and a half out of 10. It's certainly there, it's just not prominent. And off the tub, I pick up primarily the frankincense and the sandalwood. So it gives it a slightly warm take, which is fitting. And then as the soap, as it, as it, the scent sort of evolves once uh, you lather it up and I do pick up a little bit of the balsam fir. So it does, for me, it does give it a holiday sort of vibe. But yeah, what I will say is it's, it's not as prominent as I'm used to, especially for most artisans that offer their own holiday scents. But I certainly would consider it in that genre for the holidays. And I think it, it utilizes obviously the traditional holiday notes, such as the mistletoe and the balsam fir, but it still has a sort of uniqueness to it that differentiates it from other holiday scents. I think it's a really great scent. Usually frankincense is sort of a note that, um, that scares me a little bit. As I've tried other soaps that contain it and I'm not usually a fan, especially if it's, if it's too prominent, but I think the blend of these notes, it really works well. And, um, I, I really quite enjoy it as a holiday option. Now, you probably couldn't tell, but I did add a little bit of water to this. Noble Otter utilizes a tallow-based soap. I'll be using my Jerry Stark Straight Razor today. This is a 7 8 quarter hollow, and I've got a couple days of growth. So let's see how this shave goes. So for those that are not aware, 
Noble Otter is based out of Houston, Texas. And they have been around the community for a few years now. And they've had a very wide range of scent offerings. I actually had the opportunity to uh, review their Lone Star soap quite quite a while ago, and it was actually here for this channel. And that was quite a quite a nice scent. One of my other favorites from them is their summer offering called Orbit, which also has another one of my favorite labels in wet shaving with the uh, otter as an astronaut. So as I mentioned, this is a tallow-based soap. It also contains lanolin, cocum butter, bentonite clay, some really good ingredients that you would look for in a soap. I would say that it is slightly on the thirsty side, but not in a cumbersome way. My razor is gliding effortlessly. It has plenty of slickness. I have no fear of going over areas without any visible lather. Just a really fantastic first pass. Get some water back on my face here. The strength for me of this scent really sort of remains on that lighter side. But again, it's, it's really a pleasant scent. It still remains during the duration of your shave. Just add a little bit more water in here. I'd say my, my brush was semi wet to start with, and I loaded this for maybe 25, 30 seconds. Really not long at all. All right, second pass against the grain. Now, I actually have been using straight razors a little less recently. Really more so because of uh, my recent struggles with attempting to hone over the last year. I will say it's, it's one of the hard sells of trying to get people to try out straight razors or not even really just to try but to stick with them because it the maintenance aspect really is 
It can be cumbersome. So with that said, I actually do have to give a shout out to our fellow daily shaver, uh, EJ. He's actually the one that honed this blade for me. Put a wonderful edge on it. And I've really been enjoying the, the Paradigm Single Edge Razor, as well as some other razors that I've recently tried. This, uh, this shave feels phenomenal. The soap, really, you can't ask for much more. I've always had a great experience with the Noble Otter soap base. My facial hair is like sandpaper right now. Is uh, this is really the time period where it's it's the toughest, and the shaves can get a little bit rough. There we go. Apologies for the temporary silence there. It's a little difficult to talk with a straight razor around your mouth and at your throat when you're trying to speak, so. But as you can see, really, really nice shave. I have a little bit down here. Just need to stretch that part out. There we go, perfect. Just like that, effortless. <clears throat> All right. Let me just rinse my face off with some cold water and we'll get to the post shave. Feels great. All right. Now I actually do have the matching splash for this. This is an alcohol based aftershave. Very good shake here. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how the aftershave does. No burn, no sting. The scent, the scent is a little bit more blended. It does come off a little bit stronger. And yeah, it's, it's a little bit more blended in this. I think it's, um, it's a little bit brighter to me off the splash, but still really, really nice and obviously really complimentary with the soap. It, uh, it feels great, smells great. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really pleased with how that shave went. All right, guys, well, that's it for me. I had a great shave. I, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave something below in the comments section and I will do my best to get back to you. Happy shaves. <laughs>